friends, this is Mike and Rob again from the Brew Travel Channel. Last we met, Mike was up in Virginia visiting breweries and Barbara and I were in the Florida Keys visiting breweries and we decided to meet up, didn't we Mike? We did decide to meet up and coming from Virginia, uh, we decided to come down through Charlotte. As you come down through Charlotte and you will pass Carowinds right there at the South Carolina border and just beyond that is a little place called Fort Mill, South Carolina. Part of it, yeah. Also a place called TKK, they're right side by side. All right. And so we decided to slip off of I-77, probably less than five miles, and we found the Model A Brewery that is located <laughs> at TDK. Does that mean it's old, or does that mean it's certain style? It means it's a Model A. Oh, no, I'm okay. kidding. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a big brewery, though. Really? It's a big brewery. Uh, not a lot of beers. I was surprised. I don't think they had been like seven. I don't honestly know how new they were, hmm. but they must have a bar in there that is 20 yards, 30 yards long. Wow. It's a very long building. It has a bar the whole way. They have uh, a lot of tables on the inside. They have a great place outside that's covered. Very, very simple parking. Uh, like I said, they, they had very few beers, relatively speaking, but they had a sour. They had uh, a wheat. They had a variation of beers for as few beers as they had. We both again, surprise. I must be an IPA guy. <laughs> we have IPAs, and yeah. so the end result is we said enjoy the IPA. And uh, we uh, found that, as a matter of fact, that the outside of it was um, really very, very attractive. Nice, nice. Now, uh, your IPA that you tried, did, they had a diversity of styles, it sounds like, but what about ABVs? Oh, the ABVs were an interesting spread about even. Uh, there was really? two that were above seven, and three that were probably five or so. They had some sours also, uh, so it was you, you. You were able to make a choice because of the wide variety of beers. Yeah. But there wasn't really but one choice of any particular variety. Okay. So the end result was uh, I'm I'm guessing that they're probably going to move along and add a lot more beers later on. Probably so. We're in South Carolina, and we've talked before about Craft Tap. Yep. Craft Tap is not available in South Carolina, so there's no way to uh, took advantage of Craft Tap in South Carolina. Mm. So, so where'd you go after that? Is this where we met up? You met me, or did you stop somewhere? No, no. We we uh, from Fort Mill, or we said it. We, we also went to TKK, and they were like two miles apart. <laughs> All right, from my lay. We, uh, in TKK, we went to another brewery, which was probably more, more than three or four miles down the road and much closer to 77, actually. It wasn't but a mile away from 77, I-77. Mm. The name of the brewery was Replay, and it was interesting because it was a totally dis different atmosphere in that it was in a, a, a city type of mall, you know, one with lots of streets and right. lots of buildings. Yep. It's was a per intentionally designed city, town, shopping center. Uh, so it was just part of that shopping center that was there. It um, was fairly nice size. One unique thing about it is it was filled with pinball machines. Really? I haven't seen that many pinball machines in any place for a long time. <laughs> there, uh, the beer was, a lot of it beer was probably about half and half. Was guest beers versus beers that they had. I had the impression, I didn't get a chance to actually inquire a lot, that the uh, brewery was relatively new and uh, the beers they had were sort of on the okay side. I, uh, I, uh, of the places that we've talked about, it would be probably the one I'd be least likely to go back to, but it was still places if you like their types of beers and it would be a good place to go. Well, so, it could uh, be, as you said, Mike, it could be just age. One of the things that we found is yeah. the younger a brewery is, the more they will have guest taps because it rounds out their offering to That's keep correct. their customer happy. That's correct. So, so, for that, so the answer is, check it out in another six months or so. Oh, and yeah. They have lots of stuff there. I, I think that's a great call, Mike. Uh, right now, not on the list, but it's coming. And in fairness, because of the plan of the shopping area, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Sh any kind of parking close to it is fairly difficult. We've had to move around for a while to be able to find a place to park. Okay. Uh, I don't believe there was anything but a very minimum amount of outdoor space. So I would also raise the question of whether it was really very pet friendly. It was, it, was, it was an enjoyable stop. It was an enjoyable stop. And from there, uh, there uh, we just uh, moved on.
moved on. Well, you know, Mike, we decided that we were going to meet in Bluffton, but on the uh, southeast, on the Low Country side of yeah. South Carolina, and uh, and we did. We did. We met up in, um, and there are there are a few breweries in but Now, just so the audience is aware, Bluffton, South Carolina, you know, Hilton Head and Savannah, Hilton Head, South Carolina, Savannah, Georgia, are close enough to have one airport. The Hilton Head, Savannah International Airport. So between the airport and Hilton Head, you go through a little town called Bluffton. Mm -hmm. You go through another little, another little town called Beaufort. You go through several little bitty towns on the way to the bridge on the island. And um, Bluffton is where we decided to meet. Right. And we stopped at Southern Barrel. Southern Barrel is a nice place that we have been to several times. Well, we have. We, we like Southern Barrel a lot. Yes. No, no question about it. Good diversity of beer. Good ABVs, good food. <laughs> Everything's good about it. I agree with that. And and you know what? It's a it's a good location. The parking is pretty good. The uh, issue of whether or not the uh, uh, beer is good is an absolute positive. Oh yeah, there, there's you know and again variety of styles, variety of ABVs. Uh, this is a brewery. Uh, they're they're packaging their beer. You can find it in not only South Carolina, of course, but you can also find it in Georgia. You could probably find it in North Carolina, maybe even Tennessee, but but their packaging, their brewery, that also has a kitchen and a menu that's real good. That's very true, and uh, there's there's plenty of space on the inside. Uh, there's a nice area on the outside. It's very dog friendly. They brought water for the dog, and it, the whole bit is just a nice environment. Yeah, they, they have, Mike. I got to tell you, the many times that Barb and I have been there, uh -huh. we sat inside once. I can believe that. And it was a little bit misty. Okay. Every other time, if it's possible, we're sitting outside. Uh, that's understandable. As a <laughs> matter of fact, we should chime in. It's one of the few places that we've been that we've talked about that didn't have cover over the outside. Well, that, that's right. Yeah. There's yeah. not. But it, it, anyway, it's a, it's a very, very good brewery. It's real high up on our list. But you know what the locals tell me, right? And the locals have told me this for a while. There's another brewery with better beer. All right. What are we talking about here? Riverdale. 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 Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> now, I have to tell you, this, this is a brewery that I really like. But we, we left Southern Barrel to go there. How, what type of? How far was it? Oh, it was probably about a ten-minute drive, less than five miles. Okay. Uh, it was back in the town, a little shopping center. Uh, you pulled in, and we parked right in front of it. There wasn't any problem at all. It, it's a smaller brewery. It is. Uh, it, it's almost like a strip mall. Uh, a brewery, except it's it's not a retail strip mall. It's more of a uh, an office building type of, uh, of an arrangement. But uh, Mike, what what was your? We were told this was better beer. What was your impression there? Well, I, it was very good beer. Before we get to, <laughs> get to the beer, though, I, I would comment that this would almost strike me in your categorizations to be a local pub. There were a lot of. Yeah residential area around there and the size of it is just absolutely perfect for somebody who just wants to walk over and decide to have a beer. Mike, you're exactly right. I actually asked the uh, Mike, the, the, the guy running the bar that day was a great guy. Mike uh, to, told, I asked him, where, does your cust where, do your, your, where do your customers come from? Mm -hmm. And he said they have a wonderful customer base in Sun City which is a retirement community about right. two miles away. Yeah. They also have lots of people drive in from the island, Hilton Head, to get beer and take back home in, in either packaged and or uh, growlers. So all, all, all of this providing very solid evidence that they have very good beer there. Well, they yeah. have very, very good beer. So the limited seating mm -hmm. that, we, that we know that they have... It's not relevant. Well, it, it wasn't well, for us, was it? No, and it probably wouldn't be for the people around there. That's right. This isn't a place that you take a large party to. This is a place where you want to drop by and have a beer. All right, so Mike, let, just, you know, because I want to know. Yeah. I don't know if they want to know, but I do. Okay. Where's the best beer there? Hey, but we had the River Dog IPA. Oh, uh, uh, come on. Come you know, on I'm doing it again. No, IPA. No. IPA, you know, I tell you what, I tried one of their, uh, their uh, the hazy IPAs. It's really good. Uh huh. Then I tried the. Edisto Gold, a lager. Okay. Simple. Okay. Complex flavor. It was my winner. Very good. Very good. Very ah. good. All right. So when we left Bluffton, we were headed back. Um, we live south. Y'all live south. We're headed did, that did, way. Did, she, did, you, did your wife get some pictures of the uh, area there in River Dog? Well, you know, uh, River Dog is not a great big place, and so they didn't take her long. But I asked old Mike, my guy, yeah. I asked Mike, do you mind if she goes back into the production area? 
He did. He Very didn't good. Up. Very good. Barbara had unfettered access to every part of their production facility. Very good. Yeah, it was. Uh, great guys, great beer, fun stop. But now it's time to head south. Now it's time to head south. Let's go down to Bluffton. All right, let's go. Okay.